वेलकम टू एनजी क्लासेस यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो द टास्क इज टू स्केच द गिवन सिग्नल जेड ऑफ टी सो व्हाट इज जेड ऑफ टी इक्वल टू व्हाट इज आर ऑफ टी प्लस टू माइनस आर ऑफ टी प्लस वन माइनस आर ऑफ टी माइनस वन प्लस आर ऑफ टी माइनस टू सो फर्स्ट आई शुड नो वॉट इज आर ऑफ टी वॉट इज आर ऑफ टी सो लेट मी स्केच दैट आर ऑफ टी इज अ रैम सिग्नल so it is zero everywhere from minus infinity to zero zero onwards it increases linearly so this is what r of t is so these are all nothing but the shifted versions of r of t so first i need to sketch 1 2 3 4 so sketch these four signals individually then add them up so that i would get z of t so start uh, to start with let me sketch the very first signal that is r of t plus 2 so this is y axis and this will be x axis i would call this as r of t plus 2 so what is r of t plus 2 how does this signal look like r of t plus 2 is the shifted version of r of t where it is shifted to the left by what point that is minus 2 so this signal is actually r of t minus of minus 2 so that this is where the signal is shifted to and the shape would remain same so this is how the signal looks like this is nothing but r of t plus 2 so the next task is to sketch minus r of t plus 1 and that signal would like would look something like this so this is x axis t y axis i would call it as minus r of t plus 1 so here i can add these two signals or i can subtract these two signals so but with respect to ram signal it is always better to add the signals rather than subtracting uh, only thing is i need to sketch minus r of t plus 1 so i am doing addition uh, it's, it's as good as a minus b what is a minus b i would subtract them or i can write a plus minus of b so both both are the same things so that's what i'm doing it here so first i need to sketch r of t plus 1 so what is r of t plus 1 uh, signal looks like so let me sketch that so this is r of t plus 1 so signal shifted to the left by minus 1 this is how the signal looks like but what is minus r of t plus 1 amplitude gets reversed so this is how the signal looks like so if i want to sketch that at position minus 1 this is how the signal looks like minus r of t plus 1 later i need to sketch the third signal so let me sketch that so this is x axis time t y axis i would call it as minus r of t minus 1 so how does that signal looks like so to sketch that let me consider uh, uh, this signal diagram uh, r of t minus 1 so t minus 1 means the signal is been shifted to the right by 1 so this is what r of t minus 1 is so but what i want minus r of t minus 1 how does that signal looks so amplitude gets reversed so this is how the signal looks like so that's what i need to draw at the position 1 signal looks something like this so this is what r of t minus 1 is finally i'm left with the last signal r of t minus 2 so let me sketch that how does uh, r of t minus 2 looks like this is x axis t y axis is r of t minus 2 how does that signal look so let me sketch it uh, and I, i don't need that i can sketch it directly this is 0 1 Two, the signal been shifted to the right by the unit two. So this is how the signal looks like. So these are the four signals I am interested in. This is the first signal, which is nothing but R of t plus two, and then I have got the second signal R of t plus one. Third signal it is minus R of t minus one, and the fourth signal is R of t minus two. So I need to add all these. four signals so so what do i get so if i add them all 
I would finally get the signal that I need to sketch that is Z of T. So let me write it over here. So whenever I'm adding or subtracting the signals, it is always better to write the signals one below the other so that it is very easy for us to sketch the final signal. So whenever I'm trying to sketch the final signal Z of T, so let me write down all the units, all the possible limits uh, the signal Z of T is uh, taking. The first signal is starting at minus two. So that is the extreme left unit. So if I look over here, minus two is the extreme left uh, unit. So I would indicate that minus one, minus two. So this is what uh, I have at the uh, negative limits. This is zero. And moving on, just check what is the extreme right unit. Extreme right units with respect to last signal, it is starting at two. So this would be one, two. So these are all the possible limits the final signal Z of T takes. So signal exists from minus two to plus two. This is where the signal will appear. So let me check, uh, let me start touch, uh, sketching the final signal Z of T. So starting from the first, very first signal, which is starting at minus two. Minus two, the signal, shape of the signal is something like this. Till what point I need to uh, look the next signal that is minus one. Minus two to minus one, this is the only signal uh, which is getting added up with all zeros. So hence I would get that shape. That is minus two till minus one. So what is happening at minus one? At minus one, I'm getting a new signal. So this is trying to increase and this is trying to decrease. What is the result? The shape of the signal, this signal, it neither increases nor decreases. It stays at that point only. So this signal is trying to increase. This is trying to pull it down. So what is the result? It result, it stays at that point only. Till what position? Till the next point, next point or the next signal where the next signal appears. So these signals, these are the only two signals till the position one, till the time T1. So till that point, the signal stays at that point only till the position one. So what is happening at position one? So at position one, this signal, I'm getting the third signal, this is trying to decrease. So what do I get? So this was the effect of the first two signals. This was trying to increase, this was trying to decrease, the result was the signal stayed at that point. So now I'm getting a third signal at position one. What is that signal? It is trying to decrease. What is the overall result? This signal would also decrease. That is from uh, position one onwards. This signal is also trying to decrease. So what is the overall result uh, at, at position next is at position two at position two i'm getting a new signal what is the result uh, to understand that just assume that this signal is not at all there so what would happen whatever it is decreasing this would have continued forever but two onward this would signal would have decreased but it is not the case i'm getting a new signal at position two which is trying to increase so the effect of these two will nullify now so it neither decreases nor increases, but it stays at that position only. Wherever it was, it was here at this position that is zero amplitude and it stays at that position forever. So this is what the shape of the signal, final signal Z of T. Hope I'm clear. Thanks for watching.